Anyway, let's continue. New life. I almost said New Horizons. Not yet. <laughs> At some point, New Horizons. But right now, New Leap. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. The time is going to be weird on it, but it's okay. I should have um, new stuff to look at today. I think my plan with New Leap is just to get to the point where I've seen enough of, of the content difference. What's that? Quinlow's shops in Main Street has been remodeled. It's now a fancy new supermarket. It's bigger now, and there are even more items to buy. I can't wait to go shopping there. You should too. <laughs> I have a letter. From Gulliver. How are you? I'm fine. Right now I'm relaxing in Japan. While enjoying the culture, my gift for you is a figurine of a very classic tower. Isn't it super cool? Classic tower? Classic tower. Oh. But yeah, that reminds me, I, I should be directly plugged into the 3DS with audio so I can fish and not mess up. One sec, I'm just getting the headphone cable. You'd think it wouldn't matter, but trust me, I do horribly unless I'm plugged in directly. <laughs> it's just the audio lag is enough. Okay, all good. So what is this? Oh, that's nice. That's a ni that's a nice little souvenir. Yeah. I mean, very terrible place. <laughs> I can't move it. That bothers me so much. It's not flush with the edge. Who <laughs> who places? Something like that, just off the edge like that. Look at that. I can't move it. That's okay. No, that that, that it's absolutely not going there. Oh no, I'm not leaving it like that. No. I have no choice. Like that's just how it places it. You have no control over it. All right. How about here? All right, that's that's better. And then I guess I can put the book here. Not on the floor. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm not being an idiot, like, this is just how it's placing it. Okay, take this off. See, that's normal. So why is- why is it just so weird in this spot? <laughs> Alright, that one is- is acceptable- it's- <laughs> It's not really... I don't know why Why is it like that. I mean, from this angle, it doesn't look bad. At least depth perception is, like, tricking you into thinking it's fine, so this is more acceptable. It's not acceptable? Yes, well... What kind of backwards-ass placement is this? I mean, look at the ta the table worked fine. I don't understand why that's so janky. All right, I'm just I'm just gonna put this away. <laughs> why?
If I was making that game and that was the way that that was presented to me, I'd be like, absolutely not. Fix that right now. You weren't ready for that level of stress. You think I was? This is my first time playing this. Once again, all, all the flowers just have no chance of survival on this, on this island. Or the town, it's not really an island, it's a town. This music's very casual. I didn't do this. Someone did this. Who did that? One of, the, one of my villagers just set me up. Who was it? How's it going? I just came out of a hole. How about you? Did you put that there? I've always wondered if a stag beetle's jaws can cut paper. Too bad I'm rotten at catching beetles. Wait a sec, you're good at catching bugs. Would you mind catching a stag beetle for me? You were watching, weren't you? You just saw that I just missed one. And then just decided to come over here and rub it in. Hey, Will! Can you catch a beetle for me? <sighs> you're so good at catching bugs, Will. Catch a bug for me. I know you can do it. Ooh. We got the, uh... The scam artist in town. We can get some art for the museum. Okay. I mean, the problem is with these is you I, I don't know anyone who'd be able to pick these out from the get-go. Unless you know these works of art. Off by heart, so... It's like, there's no shame in using a guide here. Uh, new leaf art. We'll find out which one's the authentic one. Okay, what have we got? We have... I mean, that painting's famous. I've seen it before, but I wouldn't be able to tell the real one from the fake one. Or is it? That one. In the real painting, the mountain in the center right will appear tiny and compared to the wave. If it's gigantic... Alright, large mountain is fake. So that's fake. What is this one? I can't tell what that is. It's so tiny. Okay, um, let me try and find it. Oh, it's this one. This one's a tricky one, and you have to look closely. In the real painting, the leaf nearest the top left corner will be complete. No holes. In the fake one, the top left leaf will have a hole. It's fake. Alright, yep, yeah, it's fake. I can see the hole. I know what it's talking about. Okay, so that just leaves the swan and the statue. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to find the swan. Oh, apparently someone, some of them are always real. This one might be one of the ones that's always real. Alright, what about statues? In the real statue, the mother wolf has two children. The fake statue only has one. Alright, so... Process of elimination, this is a real one. Scenic painting. The scenic painting will always be real. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
I never got anywhere near completing the art gallery in New Horizons. It's just this event just does not happen as often as it should. Aha, cousin. I know that this work of art will find its true home now that you've decided to buy. I'll be sending the purchase off. Like, if that doesn't scream scam, I don't know what does. It doesn't give you the painting right away. It's just like, oh no, trust me, I'm going to send you the painting later, don't worry. Just give me the money. You'll get it later, once I'm out of town. Today's fossils are nice and easy. I'll go to the new store once I've found the last fossil. I bet you it was Colton that put that trap there with the hole. Probably revenge for me putting him in timeout. Oh, Lucky's here. I thought you left town. How guys is that? I thought I'd hang out in oh, yesterday. I thought you left town. That's nice, came back for a visit. Ooh. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the grand opening of Super TNT. Come in. I wanted to let you know we've added a space for items that can be hung on walls. You can find that by looking in the back and to the left of the store. You can't miss it, how decorative. Incense, um, a white scale. What is what is this? A lotus lamp. Oh, yeah, seems nice. What is this? Melody paper. Hmm. Not now. Blue wall. Show me. Nah, I'm good. What about this one? I'm good. Kitchen flooring. Oh no, <laughs> that's like a house out of the 70s. Plank flooring? This one might be alright. If basic. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean... I think I kind of got, got that already upstairs. No axe though. Blue certificate. Ah. Okay, I see. That's that's what they meant by stuff that hangs on the wall. 
Okay. Oh, this is still going. It's not done yet. I have no idea what that's gonna be. Anakati, did you put that trap? I just knew you came here. You look so mega dazzling. What do you want to talk about, Cannoli? You never know if something's going to look good unless you try it on first. Alright. It's not what I was going for. Okay, today's outfit. A doctor's coat. Okay. Hat. Oh, haha, ha, 420. There you go. I've graduated from med school. It's the theme. Do you know, one of the things that disappointed me the most, I mean, this was like a massive, massive disappointment, but I don't know if this is a thing everywhere, but when I graduated from university, did the ceremony and everything, you wear the robe, much like you see on TV, and then you get the hat. And in the lead up to that week, I was like, yeah, gonna, gonna see, like, the iconic, everyone throw this, throws their hats in the air. So, we get given our hats, and there's a note on every hat that says, do not throw hats. Consequences of hats are thrown. Severe, may cause severe injury. Do not throw hats. So, it, it's a lie. All those movies where they throw their hats into the air, it just does not happen. I felt betrayed. <laughs> like the fact that they had to write a, a massive note. They also reminded people on the way into the auditorium. That's it. I feel like I got robbed of two experiences <laughs> when I graduated both times. High school, the tradition was um, you, your school uniform, whether it was like shirt or whatever. Everyone would sign it. That was the tradition. When it came time for me to graduate high school, the school, in their infinite wisdom, decided, Hey, you're vandalizing your school uniforms. Not allowed to sign it. Here, take this piece of paper. That is basically a standard piece of office paper and get people to sign this piece of paper instead. Anyone caught with signed school uniforms will be given detentions for a week. So that didn't happen either. We did do a protest thing though, however. 
We had a friend who knew he was going to be a chef. And basically towards the end of high school, he was just, he just wanted the, the piece of paper that said he passed. Didn't care what grade he got. So he had nothing to lose at that point. He had gotten his piece of paper. So we all got together and um, we signed every part of his body. And then he walked out in shorts just around, uh, around the school. It was summer, so it was fine. It wasn't cold, but yeah. Everyone just uh, signed his body. Going to look for this beetle. Watch it. Now that I'm looking for it, watch it disappear off the face of the earth. these flowers to die. These ones here. It's like... Actually looks kind of nice. What? <laughs> that scared... That scared the bug away? The watering can? Really? Alright, anyway. sell the fossils and then I guess donate to the museum. Pause. I'm still a little bit away from finishing off. side when it comes to the fossils. I thought I was gonna get like at least 10 grand. It's not that far away. A little bit, a little bit of fishing, I can get that goal. I'll still look for this bug first. I 
Hey, I got me. What's up? I really wish the balloons <laughs> weren't just balloon furniture. Alright, well since I'm just gonna go around and catch bugs, let's just get whatever I can. Doesn't matter what. I'm in wondering, do you think I say fuzzes too much fuzzes? I like saying it and all, but maybe I should be mixing it up with a cooler catchphrase. No prob. <laughs> I don't even know. Absolutely. It's an inside joke. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm doing alright, man. Just kicking back. Just making sure my villagers aren't neglected before I do all the stuff. Damn it. <sighs> I think I need to turn the 3D up a little. But it, it does help. I just don't like having it on too strong. It just... The effect gets tiring. But it does strangely help with the depth perception. I don't know if it's the little screen, but I just find myself having a harder time catching bugs in this game. Maybe because it's just been a while. I don't have that. I need that. Well, fuck me then. Is it cold here? Uh, not that I've noticed. I haven't gone outside, so... I mean, in the room I'm in, it's fine, because it's just full of electronic stuff, so it keeps warm. Can't believe I missed the stick. Probably go drop off the extra clothing home. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm not failing these, but the important ones. I'm failing. Alright, I'll quickly drop off this stuff home. It makes me appreciate the clothing feature in New Horizons. Now, is this going to be placed normally, or is this going to be another case of place the item... Not that. Okay, that's, that's acceptable, right? That's not... I mean, I hate the position, but it's not off the edge like the other stuff was. I think this is acceptable. I can't tell the difference between on and off. I guess because it's daytime. I need I need an axe. I need to clean up these trees. <laughs> the two, the two in the way of one another. so embarrassing. <laughs> I have like a 50% fail rate with, with bugs. Yeah, good. surprised they haven't run into spiders or scorpions, to be honest. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. It's the curse of me looking for something. This bug is not that rare. I heard a mosquito where. I see it, I see it, I see it. Don't nope, stay away. It's the uh, um, got it. <laughs> no biting today. Oh my god, another one. Where? There, got it. Thank you. 
This is just like real life. Mosquitoes are attracted to me. The most annoying bug mosquitoes. I don't know, I find flies more annoying than mosquitoes. Especially if one's in your house. If a fly gets into your house and it's nighttime and then you see it and you're like, where, where did that go? Where did it go? And you can't go to sleep because you know the thing's still around and it's flying about. I wouldn't be able to sleep with one in the room. I think bugs would be much more lucrative if I could reliably catch them. Because <laughs> I could catch more of them sooner. The problem is I don't catch them that quickly. So it is not as good as fishing for me. Okay. Honestly, relieved that the, the day is over. You know, what, I'm gonna collect the shells just for the money. I've had one of those days where uh, I had to interact with someone. It's not that I don't like the person. I mean, maybe it's a little bit of that. But do you do you have someone that? When you know that the majority of the come the, of the time when they come over to you, it's because they want something from you. So they have this person that it's like eighty percent of the time when they come to talk, it's because they want something. But they don't just come over and ask for what they want. No, it's like. They begin with the small talk of small talks. I mean, like, the most cliche small talk you can think of. And when you're part way through, through the small talk, you know, okay. Clearly want something. And you're just waiting, you're just waiting for it. had one of those days. <laughs> Except that it happened a couple times, so that's why. There's someone like that at your uni. He wants help with uni work from you every time. Yeah. And for those that know me as a person, like... If there's one thing that I, I am very terrible at is small talk. And to the point where like you can you can see that it, it, I, I just have no interest in it or like there's some minor discomfort to it. Especially when there's an ulterior motive. It's just like I 
come on, man. Like, why are we doing this song and dance? Like, I know you're here to ask me something. Just out with it. <laughs> It's like if someone's running for office, that's the best way I can describe the dude. I feel like he would make an excellent, excellent politician. It's not that small talk doesn't come naturally to me, like I can do small talk, I just hate it. It's just saying stuff for the sake of saying it. I think there's something that is just so underappreciated about being comfortable enough with someone that you can just be silent with one another. Or just go for like minimal, whoa, nice, good, right place at the right time. Like, you know, just existing with someone, and... You appreciate the person being there, and they appreciate you being there, but you know that if, like, you got nothing to talk about, or very minimal things to talk about, you don't resort to, like... I don't know. Maybe I'm just an asshole. <laughs> uh... It's just when, when someone, when they talk to you, and it's like a large percentage of the conversations you have with them is small talk, that's when I take issue with it. Especially when you know that they're gonna ask you for a favor. doing fishing and bug catching just so I can get more money. I want to get close to paying off that museum upgrade. I need to get better at catching bugs, I really do. I wonder what happened if I would if I were to watch like the stream monitor instead of the the DS. Let's see. Maybe I'll get better at it if I watch a larger screen. I mean, okay, there's a little latency, but that's fine. For catching bugs, I just need to get into the right position. I wish I could play this way with my Switch, you know, have it in handheld mode, but still be able to stream it. That'd be great. It'd be so comfortable, I'd be able to lean back in my chair. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Hey, great timing, bro. I'm thinking about changing my catchphrase. Got any suggestions? Count? Yeah, uh, we're gonna change count because I, I forgot the reason why I said it. I know why. I think if you use your imagination, you can... You can figure out why I why I made it uh, count. Want me to solve the mystery? Alright. Um. <laughs> if you're watching the keyboard there. I don't know what to... A catchphrase? What, what, what catchphrase? I don't know, I'm not- I'm not feeling very creative today. Yes! Yes! This is bold, my image is about to do a 360 degree change, or a 180 degree change, whatever's clever. 
And you nail it, bro. When it comes to words, you're the best in oh, yes, yes. Alright. I will say the best catchphrase is to give them is like bodily, the sounds of bodily functions, whether it's sneezing or coughing or like just expressing how, it just makes it funnier when they, they're mid-sentence and then they randomly like drop a, a burp or a, or a sneeze. That's what I usually do with them. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to have a conniption. Okay, I have to get this. Hold on. Watching watching big screen. Let's see if it helps. I don't think that's the beetle that was... I mean, let's see. It did help a little. What did you want? Stag beetle, any kind. But isn't what I have a... Isn't this, does, isn't this classified as a stag beetle? Am I wrong? What was that? <sighs> okay, there's another one here. Okay, watch the big screen. Okay, that has the word stag in it. It has to be correct. I got a butt. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I, I, I guess it doesn't count, the other one. Huh. Alright, there you go. Alright, I have something for you too. What have you got for me? It's a watermelon shirt. <laughs> what? Wait, are there watermelons in this game? I have graduated from Fruitero School. I can now open a grocer. I'm keeping this. pillows in the living room just when I want to rest my head on a pillow and it's not a cushion it's just a pillow that's lying around with the blankets and stuff if if I ever want a blanket on the sofa but it it's uh it's case is a Big Mac I have two of them so it's like a burger pillow that's what this shirt reminds me of just that it's like functionally ugly, but I'll still use it. I forgot to check here today. Yo! I want this, yes. That is just the perfect cartoon, mate. Love it. I'll put it next to my bed so then I can eat I can eat the meat with the corn. I 
Or I just put on the counter next to the veggies, I mean. I really like to give you a blue vase. Oh, thank you. Thanks for taking that off my hands. The color clash of almost everything I own. Wow. That's so nice of you. Blanche is so nice. It looks like the meat that you use in Zelda. I mean, can I put it on the counter? No. Ah, yes, the classic floor meat. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the lemons like that in the grocery bag like that. Let me go upstairs. My house is looking a little more serious now. Compared to what it was at the start. I mean, okay, this is still a bit of a meme room, but... Can, can you guess my theme? I need a counter for this. Do I have a counter? Like, just any sort of... Is it food theme? No. I'm sure if you... You think... Just think of a pun. You'll be able to figure it out. Dresser. Mm. Game shelf? Wait, a game shelf? What does a game shelf look like? Oh. I mean, it, it's pink. But I could probably recolor it. Damn it. <laughs> I, I will leave it though. Alright, you know what floor meat it is. Just seeing if I have anything that's... Storage case, blue wardrobe, white bench... That could be classified as, like, a, a table. Hmm, not really. Yeah, the flag is me drawing it. But it's just, you know, if you want to be patriotic about where you live, you must have a flag in your bedroom. That's something that we as Australians clearly get incorrect, is there's just not enough flags in Australia. Like, we need at least six flags in every single public building. And then, of course, you have to hang one up on your bedroom, so then when you're getting dirty, you're like, patriotic dirty. The theme is corn maze. I have corn, and the wallpaper is a maze wallpaper, so it's a corn maze. Get it? Mm, 
never would have guessed. That's fine. I like I like it when things are subtle. I can laugh to myself. Not everyone has to understand every single little reference and joke. Like, I bet some people are going to be confused as to why my villager is saying Dave now. But there'll be others that aren't, and know exactly what that means. Because they are on a list. Wow. That beetle. I think I'm pretty close now to the goal, it's just like under 20,000, right? Yeah. Ah, like one more round of gathering and it's done. on that tree. Don't you dare. Damn it, too close. I know, I'm, I'm horrendous at catching bugs. Got it. If I do get good at it, it's, it is a lot of bugs, and you get it pretty quickly. Um, maybe collecting more shells will also help. I just want quick money. I used to think shell gathering was kind of a waste, but then I kind of realized just because of how quickly you can do it, it's just a very easy way to make some quick bells. They don't sell for much, but it's very minimal effort to get it. Okay, this one, please let me catch it. Yes. This one was worth a lot. Sell.
No, not that. <laughs> okay. Just another ten, and then we're good. Then I guess... Back to the, <laughs> the home loan stuff. The massive home loan. If I dedicated a day of fishing, I could get that home loan paid, but I know the jokes of me resorting to fishing in any kind of chill game. But I just always gravitate towards it. Wait. I'm guessing that was a bug that disappears at, at this time. Because there's no way I, I should have scared anything. Oh, it's that. Hey! I'm sneaking. Alright, I have to chase. Oh my god. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. It's going to the river. It went to the river. <laughs> Ah. No, what? <laughs> Make all the jokes you want. I'm going to go fishing. I love how there's, uh, there's just nothing. No, no fish. Probably turn the 3D down now. Since I'm not doing bug catching. Oh no. Oh, did it scare Okay, it's fine. That was on purpose. It was just so I wouldn't scare away this thing. Yes. Oh, I don't have this one, damn it. I wanted to sell it. <laughs> I was excited because I was like, that's going to be worth a bit of money. Probably enough to... to pay off the rest of that museum upgrade donation thing. It's alright, just got to catch another... I played New Horizons because the southern hemisphere was in summer when it released. So we had sharks. Just remember people wanting to come to my island because I had sharks. I had a very popular island for a while. <laughs> really? That's two sharks I don't have. Can't sell either. Oh, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Thank you. 
Clownfish. I really have not made much money from fishing. I got in good fish, but I need to donate them. Ah, impatient. It's okay. Low value fish, anyway. Bass. No, hey, there we go. There's a good fish. That one sells pretty well. You would think that the clownfish would be a bit more expensive because, I mean, it's a tropical fish. It's considered exotic. I mean, not that exotic, but... I feel like it should sell more than what it does. Just because it's a tiny fish doesn't mean it should sell for less than a big fish. There's some expensive tiny fish. That's it, right? One more. Time to donate. Two sharks would put me over the top. 
in terms of donation funds, but whatever, it's fine. What's that? Hopefully I'll still get enough. I, I feel like the swordfish is worth quite a bit, so... Donation goal reached. Big debt. Ugh. Which is the home? I haven't done much river fishing in this season. I just find the river to be a lot more tedious to fish in. Just because you have to reposition yourself from one end of the river to the other. What was that sound? What's up? Do you think it's about time to take a break? some advice out. It's a little problem I have with my catchphrase. You know that little touch I throw to it once in a while? Ow. Yes, that right there. Ow. It's sounding bland. I'm thinking of changing it. Ow. What should I do? Change it. What's the symbol? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. And I want everyone talking about how I was doubting my own fresh factor brap. Good stuff.
That mosquito is going to bite me, isn't it? <sighs> but, like, that's not fair. I can't stop it from... It's the it's the river it's the river see this. <laughs> There's another mosquito that's gonna bite me. It already did. Wait, no, never mind. It's a pond skip or whatever it's called. I haven't caught one, I could try. It's so hard to see it. Oh my god, how did that miss? There we go, got it. Pond skater. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> I've stopped caring about the presence. Ah, oh, damn it. That was just extreme impatience. I already knew what that was. <laughs> just... I didn't reel it in right away, and then I still got it, so I already knew. When it's that lenient, it's always the sea bass or the river equivalent. Okay. 
Okay, well, I got one more thing to donate. Oh, you know what I haven't? Ah, ha, ha. I know something I haven't done today that I should do. After donations. I miss when Blathers would give you facts, you know? That was a nice touch they added to New Horizons. Yeah. River fishing is just not as lucrative. It's just... The, the fish that are rare to the river just don't appear as often as the fish that are rare to the ocean, and the ocean fish just sell for a lot. I need to go back home for a minute. I need I thankfully had a stockpile Let's hear it. Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? This. Oh, what do we have here? Hey, Cherry, don't mind if I do. Phew, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Hmm. Then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right. I have to get ready first, so you just right, wait here a sec. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sleepy joke is just the thing you need to cure you. What ails you? Have you heard? Yawns are contagious. There was one day years ago when I was performing in front of a totally packed audience. Well, uh, packed might be a tiny exaggeration. I was performing in front of a good number of people, so I thought I'd share a special joke I'd been saving. Just then, some big guy sitting smack dab in the middle of the audience let out a huge yawn. Then it started to spread. From row to row, the yawn got caught- uh... Huh? What? Which joke was I doing again? <laughs> waka waka! <laughs> so yeah, what do you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my sleepy joke. Now you can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your sleepy ability and develop your comedic skills. 
I mean, that's like the, the interrupting cow joke, where you just say, knock knock, who's the interrupting cow? And then before they finish the sentence, you just moo. I wish I could read the joke again, but that's fine. <laughs> Only once per day. This is just going into my, like, forget I have money in here fund. So then, at the end of the month, I'll get interest. Okay. A shorter session of this today. I just wanted to get the museum gold on. And I did it. I've gotten into the habit of saving it. <laughs> There'll be no repeat of a data loss. Alright. Um, that's, that'll do it for New Leaf for today. This was a lot of fun, everyone. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a short intermission, and then I'm gonna play some Tunic. But to do that, I need to reboot into, uh... 1440p mode. That's what I was looking for. But if you're watching later on YouTube, the VOD, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. And consider clicking the buttons for the algorithm stuff if you want to support the channel. And thanks to those that have done that so far. Uh, yeah, if you want to watch me play some other stuff, I'm sure some other videos have popped up on your screen by now. So, happy to check them out. But until next time, uh, I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye.